reason why this documentary was created was to explain why I became vegan and how it's positively affected my life. When Melanie was a child, her typical diet consisted of chicken nuggets, french fries, and mashed potatoes. <laughs> she also enjoyed mac and cheese and dinner rolls with butter. <laughs> so I was constantly eating McDonald's or some unnatural amount of french fries, even Johnson's popcorn when I was really young and it was very clearly unhealthy. Despite eating everything in sight, I loved being outdoors. I'm literally playing in the dirt in this picture. I used to love fishing and being outside, just love nature and everything about it. And when I was younger, I had a huge connection with animals. I just loved being around them. I loved other people's animals and I think every animal deserves love no matter what it is. So going vegan was actually entirely my mom's idea. She purchased this extremely nice blender and we just kind of kicked it off from there. We started eating like a lot more fruits, a lot more vegetables, and everything was just really good from there. Melanie's diet now consists of salads, rice, beans, tofu, vegetables, and fruits, and she doesn't eat meat. After taking food ecology last year, it inspired me to really look into gardening on my own. My friend Gab Lemons and I, we took this class basically as a joke, but we actually had a ton of fun. We grew all these plants, but in the end, the carrots were the only thing that grew. So we were carrot farmers and we had a ton of fun and it was super inspiring. After taking food ecology, I began hanging out with my aunt a lot more. She was very into gardening at the time and she still is. She's very good with being outside and planting vegetables and everything about that. Every plant pictured has actually been planted by my aunt. She is a very inspiring woman who works super hard for herself and I've actually had the chance to work really hard with her and learn a little bit more about gardening and I think there's a really close tie between gardening and veganism. Gardening is a great way to improve your health. It improves not only your physical health, but your emotional health. When you are out gardening, you are burning calories and exercising, which is important to a healthy lifestyle. As far as your emotional health, getting outside increases your exposure to sunlight, which improves not only your mental outlook, but increases vitamin D in your body, which is important for your health. I would encourage anyone who wants to improve their health to start gardening. There is a great variety of plants currently growing in my garden. Some of my favorites are tomatoes such as Rapunzel tomatoes, which are a um, type of cherry tomato. We have a variety of peppers, uh, kale. It's fun to grow things that you've never tried before. There's just so many plants that you can grow and the fun thing is if you grow something and you don't, it doesn't turn out well, you can always try something else the next year. What connects veganism with gardening is really knowing where your food comes from and how it's handled, what's used in it, what kind of pesticides, how it's taken care of, stuff like that. The benefits of growing your own vegetables versus buying in the store are that when you do that, you know that what you're eating is healthy. When you buy vegetables at the store, you don't know where it's come from. There's been recent outbreaks with romaine lettuce containing bacteria that have made people very sick. When you grow your own vegetables, you can control what goes on or around your plants so that you know that you're not going to run a risk of having bacteria in your food. Secondly, a lot of farms that are not organic may use pesticides. These pesticides are not only harmful to you, but to 
the bees and other pollinators in the environment. So by growing your own food, you can ensure that what you eat is pesticide free. I hope by now you learned a little bit about me and my lifestyle. Let's all look out for Mother Nature, you know? Stay stoked. Save the bees.